Hello guys, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, we will see how to use machine learning with our Flutter application. If you come to the Firebase, you will find out this machine learning and inside that we have these many options to use machine learning with our device or with our Flutter application. So in this video, as an example, we will use face detection and uh, we will choose our image and it will point out or it will detect the face into our image so let's see the demo if we choose an image which is having more faces it will point out the faces with the rectangular shape around it so without talking too much let's get started with our project and see how we can implement this one and detect faces into our flutter application Alright guys, so first you have to go ahead and configure your Firebase with your Flutter application and to save some time I already did configure mine with the Firebase and I will not show that in this video. Once that is done you have to come to your pubspec.yml and add these three libraries which we will be using in our video. Once done you have to come to the build.gradle of app level and down below in the dependencies you have to add these three implementations. I will link them in the description so you can get the latest version of them. Then after that you have to come to the android manifest and add this meta tag inside the application tag. You can also get this one from the readme of this uh, package we, which we will be using. Okay so once we are done with all of the configurations first we have to come and import all the libraries and packages which we will be using. Uh, first one will be import the Firebase ML Vision Dart. So we have used this uh, UI just to draw some uh, shape into our image. Uh, you will see the usage later on. So now we are ready to implement our code. I will start by declaring the required variables. So these are the variables which we will be required. I have made a list of faces uh, because there may be more than one face in a picture. We have to store all of them in a list and then draw the rectangles according to that. So now it's time to design my UI, a simple UI. I will add a floating action button where it uh, will be used to uh, pick the image from gallery or camera and then uh, another box to show the image, the resulted image in the body of the, uh, the scaffold. Okay, so this is a very basic uh, UI design, just a simple floating action button for selecting the image and uh, getting the image from gallery. And then if we have the image, we will uh, just uh, show the image, but uh, in here I have used custom paint just to paint on that image and to draw on that image the rectangles on the faces that are available in the image. So that's why I have used the custom paint and this is the class where we will uh, pass the image and the faces available in the image and through this class we will draw the rectangles on the faces so let's go ahead and first implement this function for getting the image from gallery and in here I have choose to get the image from gallery you can also choose the camera so once we have done that we have to now pass the image into the uh, package that we have here and uh, into the firebase vision uh, which will be used to recognize the faces and uh, return us the the coordinates where the faces are located So here we have used the Firebase Vision image from file and since we have our image type picked file we have to uh, convert that into the file by giving the path of that image. 
so we have got the image and we have uh, our face detector variable in here and then we have uh, processed the image by this one is just uh, processing the image and locates where the faces are available in our image and then it stores those locations of faces into our face variable this is of type face which is also provided by this package itself so now I will check if this these processes are done successfully then I will check if mounted uh, if mounted then I will assign these uh, uh, this image file into our image file which uh, which is a variable up here and the faces from here to the faces up there in this variable so now that we have our faces coordinates into our image we have to convert the image itself into the bytes so it can be understood by the machine learning model and the custom painter which we are going to paint on the image so for that I will have a separate function which will be load I will call it something like load image and I will pass this image file dot path so this is going to be a separate function that I will create down here so inside this I will just pass our current image that I have and uh, convert that into the binary code because uh, machine learning is just uh, can understand the bytes and also we have to draw some uh, shapes into our image in that case also we are using the uh, custom image painter which again it requires the image to be in binary form so this is how we can convert our image into the binary form of course this function has to be inside our class now all errors are gone so now we we have to create the face painter class where we will get the faces and the image and then draw the rectangles according to the faces coordinates where it is uh, it should be drawn down below i will go ahead and create the face painter so inside this class again we require some variables which i will declare right now so these uh, variables have to be initialized and we will do that using the constructor so once we have passed the actual image and the faces coordinates in here we will uh, add those coordinates uh, according to the faces in our rects uh, list and now we will use this a rects list to change its color and shape and now if you come to the uh, actual class face painter since we have extended the custom painter it says you have to implement the paint method and should repaint method we have to override that so in down here i will go ahead and override and now here i will define the paint uh, our style for the painting that rectangle into our image this width and color and style depending on you how you like your uh, rectangle or any shape that you want how it should look just uh, i just use the yellow color and this width to be somehow realistic and how it's looking uh, a little bit nicer and now using this rects that we have specified where it should be we will actually draw our rectangle into our image down here so you can see i have drawn using this these styles i have drawn the rectangle into our image to recognize the face inside our image and now we still have some errors which says we have not uh, implemented or overwrite it 
the should repaint method into inside this custom painter let's do that so this method is just preventing from repainting the uh, rectangle onto the repeated uh, face or repeated image so that's how it works and i think we are done with everything we have to just now run our application and see how it works okay our application is up and running into our device by clicking this button we have to go to you our gallery and from gallery we will select our image and here we go we have our image and the face is detected and we have drawn this rectangle into our face so i've got this image from google just typing the main picture uh, something like that and downloaded just uh, these two images and uh, here we go we have our uh, rectangles onto the faces if you want you can change the width of this one to two to be a little bit nicer so this is how we can implement the face detector into our flutter application and if you have any problem don't forget to comment down i will respond to your comment as soon as possible and also if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss such amazing videos in the future and i will try to upload some more contents about machine learning using flutter application so stay tuned with that and i will see you in the next video